one of the most important document in united states is not your passport although it is very important but it is social security card or social security number also known as ssn how do you get that what is the process that's what we're going to talk about in this video let's go Watch till the end of the video. I'm gonna tell you like a one tip which will save a lot of money for you. It's a tax saving tip regarding social security. A lot of people don't know about it. So watch the end of the video. Let's start with what is social security number. It is a nine digit unique identifier given to you, which means it's only assigned to you. And it is the most important number because everything is tied to that number. Everything is tied to that account. Your tax benefits, your tax information, your credit information, your home information, everything, every single application you put in United States, they will ask you your social security number. So it's a most important document. And I cannot emphasize enough, please do not share with anybody. You, like There are a lot of scams that happen. They take your social security from you and then they can scam you based on that. Now that you understand the importance of social security number, also called as SSN, how do you get it? The number one thing is it is tied to your job. Like you have to have a job to get a social security number. You can't just go land in United States and apply for it. And then once you have a job, then you can apply for social security number because then once you get paid, that information goes into your social security number. So number one step, get a job. Number two is you have to fill out social security application. And with social security application, it's physical application. There's no online application. You can't just apply online. You have a form available online, but you have to download that form, fill it out, or you can fill it out online, but you still have to take the printout out of it and then go to the office and submit it. You can't just submit online. Once you fill out the social security application, there's few things you are going to need for your application the documents you are going to need. So first thing you need to do is go to your international department and tell them that, hey, I got a job and I need to apply for social security number. And because of that, you are going to need two documents from them. One is a letter that yes, this person have an eligible visa and also have an eligible job. So yes, we want to approve his social security application. That's number one letter. It's like an social security approval letter. And then the second one is an offer letter, which you will get because you got a job on campus, whether it's on cafeteria, whether it's an RATA job. So you need both the letters with you. As you saw the example, uh, those are just an example, but most colleges will have their own kind of format and own kind of offer letters. So as soon as you go them, they know exactly what you need and they'll give it to you. Now there's two total five documents you need. So first one is the offer letter, which is the job offer letter. Second one is the university approval letter, which you need. Third one is your I-20. You will obviously have your I-20. Fourth is your passport, which is your identification. And you will also need your visa, valid visa, which is F1 visa stamp photo. Last but not least is your I-94. So that you can easily go to online website, uh, go to uh, put in your passport, and then you can get your I-90 form downloaded. Once you have all the documents ready and collected, you have to book an SSN application. Now, there's two ways to do it. Some universities will partner with SSN office, their local SSN office, and they will say like, hey, from this week to this week, we will want to send our students because most of international students will get jobs. So you can book it through your university. This is again, university, depending on university, university in Chico, we don't have that facility, but you can always call to the social security office. Um, you just look up on Google, call them, ask them like, hey, is there any appointment available? Some cases they will say it's a walk-in. So you there's no online, you can't book an appointment. Or some cases they will say like, okay, yep, it's a 10 a.m. Tuesday morning go during that time. Most cases, it will be a walk-in appointment. Let's say you booked in your appointment or you're walking in. Uh, regardless, the process is the same. You reach the social security office. Uh, and then once you enter the building, you will have to kind of create your counter number or your number assigned token to you. Once you create that token, there will be multiple like just like if you have done visa interviews, there will be multiple counters and each counter is going to call out. So once your counter get number gets there, you go to the person 
again it's the same format like visa interview they will see it uh, you have to give all your documents they will probably have like a small conversation like how's it going how's the weather blah 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 all that stuff will happen and then they will take a look at your application make sure that everything is right they will also take a look at your documentation that's pretty much it make sure to carry your originals but also carry all the photocopy of every single thing you take some offices take co- photocopy some will not they will make it during when you meet them from the original so it just depends on offices to offices i've seen both ways once with they verify your passport and your application they will say look like, okay cool thank you so much uh, in 5 to 10 business days you will get your social security card it will be mailed to your address this is where it gets very tricky make sure that you have the address right and also make sure that you keep an eye on it because sometimes you will not be able to tell whether it's like a fake advertisement or not so just it should say social security administration on the envelope which you will receive from them and then that's pretty much it you have your social security number congratulations remember i said in the beginning if you are watching till here so congratulations now i'm going to tell you the tip which a lot of people forget about it because you have applied for social security number and in united states a lot of people have to pay social security tax but if you are on opt cpd and internship you don't have to pay that tax because there is a treaty between indian government and united states government and that lets you waive off the social security tax a lot of people don't know this and they pay 400 500 every single time they receive a paycheck and that money is gone uh, because um, you're paying in taxes but you can save all that money and if you are in united states and if you are in internship and you see now you go back to your paycheck and say like oh yeah i see that they cut my social security what do you do you go and tell your hr and payroll system that hey i am eligible to waive off this tax sir. please do not deduct this taxes from my paycheck because i'm on f1 visa and so on so and they will make sure that they don't do it if you have completed your internship or co-op and you see that they have done it in that case when you file your returns when you file your taxes uh, which will pro- most likely happen next month or january february march when you file it that's when you need to make sure that you deduct that and you get that money back i'll talk about it when i talk about how to file your taxes video coming very soon so stay tuned and subscribe for that but that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed it and you find it valuable if you have any further question please let me know in the comment section until then keep smiling and keep hustling you got to hustle every single day